Is it gonna work? Maybe. Testing. Testing. That is a quite a delay, isn't it? And this. Oh. What was I doing again? <laughs> Guys, I've wasted, completely wasted an entire day playing video games on this. Shameful. Um, just, I guess it hadn't occurred to me how much more uh, gaming would have developed on iOS since the days when I had the Inkling and... I don't know. I had time to uh, play video games on my phone. Um, I hope I don't continue to talk about it, but oh my god. Ju even just looking into like what the people who developed the games I really loved, like RC Plane 2 and um, The Pocket planes series uh looking into what they've been up to or like what they did afterwards just took all of my time i let it i let it do that um wow i get it i get why i you love gaming on this um i even played call of duty because after, uh, well, I don't know, fuck it. I don't know how much Call of Duty I spent playing as a, as a preteen, but, like, um, one of the things I always wanted, and in this is an element in first-person shooters called camping, but I liked camping, but not for the sake of, Like, not to anyone else's detriment, if that makes sense. Like, I, I, uh, I camped, but only if I was, like, you know, I don't know how to articulate this at all. I'm not prepared. Basically, I don't, I wasn't doing it to be an ass to win, because I never won anything. I don't really care about, uh, but I do like the idea of, like, being in a quiet large map with a sniper rifle um like the mo honestly some of the most fun i ever had playing video games was my friend and i in a local uh i think we actually i think we used split screen but it was a large tv and we really didn't peek um we would find the biggest map we could and turn off uh turn like all the walking sounds uh, no, we did that over Xbox Live. That's right. Yeah, we did it, and we would, be, we would just be silent for, like, half an hour, maneuvering against each other. I always... Anyway, I like the sniper thing, okay? I don't know why. It's just interesting to me. Uh, the thing about Call of Duty Mobile is, like, the regular multiplayer is literally just bots. Anywho, finally, Call of Duty made a large, snowy map. Snow, snowy is another thing I really love. Um, that lends to camping in one spot with a sniper rifle. Uh, and like, 
unfortunately, it's kind of spoiled by the fact that it, if an enemy comes in your field of view... Setting up Ouija board. Oh, God. It turns out not that right it is now, not. In fact. Uh, your character audibly says, immediately, there's no delay. Just, I see a person. So it's kind of... Wow, this just sounds incoherent. Basically, I play Call of Duty. Feel free to shun me. Um, I still don't, I have, been, I've created a Roblox account and I see this application and I see this smile button here, but I have no idea, I guess the term basically I could just say is what I'm supposed to do, but I hate when people say that because it's, it's like, um, Roblox Studio. It takes the socialization of platforms like Facebook to a new level with the games and creativity of the community. What? Okay. Interesting. Oh my god. I can't. I can't believe the Steam app is one still around. And that it looks so much <laughs> like the original. I'm mainly doing this to see how to like see if the stream is gonna stay up, basically. Oh my god, hey. Hey friend. If you're still there, there's a big lag. I don't actually expect anyone to watch this, but I guess. Um I don't know. I don't know. It's totally irrational for me to, to just, but I was like, I wonder how long, right now I'm just trying to see how long I can stream from the Tumblr, not the, the Twitch for iOS, iPad OS app before it stops inexplicably and doesn't let me know. But, um, I've never played PUBG, but, uh, yeah, I, yeah, it's, I guess I'm sure you know what I mean. But, um, I don't know, like when I, like before I actually played video games with friends, when I was not social, it was kind of a lull there where I was on Xbox Live, but I had never played video games with anyone in my real life before. I feel like I didn't realize that, that, um, this camping thing was like something that people really hated, but, um... There's the Pinterest app. It's actually a, it's actually an incredible application, by the way. Uh, Pinterest is such an impressive little tech company because it's like I don't know. It's not very many people. It's like a hundred people, but they've basically had an like irreversible effect on. Well, Google, an organization that's so much larger than them, because <laughs> who was it? Oh my God! Someone uh, was, I think it was a podcast episode, talked at length about how. Oh, it's my uh, my archive.org friend Jason Scott. Um, was talking about how Pinterest has like because of its, um, uh, just the particular way it indexes image files, it's ruined image search forever. Uh, and, well, it, the, the basic thing is, um, is like Google is going to have to just block Pinterest's U, like web URL. I think that would be fine. I can't imagine, well, I shouldn't talk about Pinterest at length because I don't understand it, really. I understand that my mom enjoys it uh and i understand that it's a curatorial platform and i understand that at, like the software itself is in comparison to like stuff built by way larger companies very impressive and very original um this oh actually while you're here oh my god i can't show you because this is a map my drive uh is this incredibly ambitious Route 
route tracking application made by uh I'm literally jumping wherever. This is like this is what I sound like after not doing anything but playing video games for most of a like, kind of work day. This barefoot for life. Um I was I've been um looking for Okay, so like there's there are social car apps, right? Where like you can look at at builds and stuff, but I like driving and disco- it took me a long time and like actual footwork to discover the routes that I've found that are ideal for driving. And it's since like for my whole life, my whole driving life, I've had this uh, this inkling, this question, like, why isn't there an application where I can easily share routes? And when I don't, I don't mean like send uh, shared the directions to a specific place, which is what any maps application will do. If you, I don't want to send someone somewhere. I want to send them along a specific route, right? And like. There are fi- multiple file formats that operate in, in basically being a list of GPS coordinates and timestamps. Uh, the timestamps is not required, but like called GPX. Um, I could be just showing you this, but honestly. And uh, like basically the infrastructure is there. Um, and Google even has a, a service where you can literally share a route. However, getting that into your getting it into your navigation phone so that when you're driving and having fun, you can just tell your phone, take me on the, on this fun route that my friend found years ago. It's still not possible. Anyway, long story short, map my drive is, uh, an incredible, like one half of that equation. This is, I was used it for the first time way back in, uh, I say way back, but it really was, for this particular, like, in 2015, I think it was, 2016. Um, and what it does, I mean, is it just drops a pin uh, every so far of your geolocation. Um, I wish I could show you the full glory. I, I bought, <laughs> I pay for it every now and then, but I think it's been, uh, I think it's been forgotten at this point. The moderately sized tree route. I can actually show you an, an example, maybe? Yes. Oh, there it is. Can I zoom in? Yes, I can. Yay. This uh is actually just a bunch of waypoints, right? When did I do this? May 29th, 2021. Um, you can actually just straight up convert this to file formats. But uh, anyway, if you... Um, back in like 2015, like background processes with iPhone, it was not having it, right? Uh, and you could set this application to drop a pin, like, I think it was like every 10 milliseconds, right? Uh, and I remember, do, you know, me, I always choose the max possible setting of any given thing that I'm trying for the first time um, for no reason. Yeah, you could drop waypoints uh, with image files. I definitely get the feeling this was developed by someone who wasn't a developer, but had like a very specific use for this. And so they spent a very long time on this project. This is just supposition. Um, And it's really still the only thing of its kind. Uh, Anyway, I, uh, it, it, uh, it was super innovative back in the day and I should have written about it. Um, You can see that it uses Mapbox now uh, which means that you can embed it anywhere. Oh my god. Um, what's that? Cool. I wonder if I could, let's see what happens when I try to start a route. Whoops. It, that's, that's not gonna work, because this is a Wi-Fi only device. Anyway, <sighs> sorry. Um, map my drive. I've 
it's obviously it's on my to-do list of, of applications to write about uh but um sadly yeah it's i my last support email did not go answered so i'm assuming that um and that was last year around this time soon i've moved on to other stuff which is fine obviously uh i just okay one more little since you're here one more some semi-critical thing about the automotive community um at least around here when i think like the reason why i don't have any car friends is because anyone if i went out and sought car people socially i mean i i've been a members of clubs and stuff but like basic from the old rich guys that bring out their collector cars and drive around and then spend six hours talking and eating shitty beef uh to como car culture which is like the the young people club across the spectrum nobody actually fucking drives I mean, and I, okay, I, you know, I, it's not that I don't love everything that, about that, that I, I have been to a billion car shows and I really love car shows, but like, um, I, I try to do this. I try to create a driving club and, uh, and by that, I mean, I made a really nice pamphlet and I made a friend from it. My only other Miata friend, uh, because I just left it on his windshield, um, but like we only went out once, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, there's something there's something wrong with me. But just most of what I want to do with, or have wanted have wanted to do with, uh, especially the sports car that I owned, was drive it. Um, and uh, I guess being able to do so socially would be nice, but. probably a problem I'll never get around to tackling actually ooh I should restart this fuck uh come on I'm very impressed but I shouldn't be surprised that this device this iPad Pro which is more powerful than I think ev all the computers I've ever owned and the phones I've ever owned combined very impressed whoa that might be an exaggeration, but it's not much of one. I shouldn't be surprised that uh, it's handling background streaming well. Wow, that was... This is a... Uh... I need to find out what happened to real racing. I'm doing it again. I'm using the, the video game. <laughs> um, I heard a take I've never heard before, and I don't know if it's true. Last night on The Verge which was that video game company, like the reason there are a lot of racing games suddenly kind of coming out, uh, if you search the app store, you're, you'll lose your mind at how many racing games there are. Um, having been, the, I remember when there was literally only one. Uh, according to the Vergecast people, it's because comparatively to any other type of video game, rendering cars and like, circuits is, ex is is easy for the software and the hardware to do. It's like easy. It is now easier to make a racing game than it is to make any other sort of like high graphics game, which is such a funny thing to me thinking about because it's such an inverse of the original Gran Turismo, which, which, you know, uh, but yeah, I, uh, that's, I at least have an answer as to why I've, all these, frankly, very poor simulators are coming out um, at the, I guess I, I really do want to drive a, a racing sim that's like, because, I don't know, not that it's a reasonable thing to expect, but like, Real Racing 2 was amazing. Um, I think I went ahead and... Uh, Okay, what in the heck is going on with Real Racing? Because it's not listed in any of the lists of racing apps. Okay, it's charting 64. 
Um, Real Racing 2 was amazing because you just paid $5 for this app that was like the first time that any sort of, that a handset driving experience, racing experience, felt realistic enough that it was worthwhile to actually like practice circuits and stuff. Um, I mean, very, like the, the very, very basics of driving to a simulation it's, is all that's required, honestly. This is just going to be an endless series of um, downloads, but I'm really curious. You know who I am. Oh, anyway, I should finish it. Real Racing 2 was an application iPhone, iPhone 4S era. It was like a $5 racing game that was more beautiful than anything. It had a, they did their, their own soundtrack. They did a bunch of um, famous world circuits and they had their own. I thought that, Bra okay, for far too long, I thought that Brands Hatch was a was a fictional cir circuit in um, Real Racing 2, which it was such a delight to find that out that it's real because it's one of my favorites of all time. I don't want to be in an F1 car. I just don't. And I've done this before. Yeah, that's what I need. That's what I was waiting for needs to download it. I'm surprised it's just a gigabyte, honestly. Uh, I don't know if you if you want to see the of, <coughs> official F1 app. Um, I uh, I said I don't want to be in an F1's car, so let's go. Let's at least do the official experience. I did this for a second. I just, I'll, okay, I'll just push the big. I guess, you know, maybe it's just the brat in me, but I swear, for my whole life, this is F1, Formula 1, every experience I have with it is like, just the polar opposite of all the things that I love about racing. Like, but you know what? You don't need to hear that. It's not in actually insightful. I just, and all the bad stuff, the, the consequences of commodification, um, and, uh, like, overdramatic drivers and, and, like, this, I mean, the, the the sick basal obsession with crashes, and you know, uh, I'm so, I'm so glad that that like they're just you, they're those people that quote unquote watch racing for the crashes. Uh, I would assume that they just have nothing to if they don't watch racing anymore because there's <laughs> uh, specifically the people who like want to see people get hurt. Uh, Anyway, oh, this fucking DRM shit. Like the show about it. Okay, like racing is inherently dramatic. Even the even those, you know, emotionally uh, um, locked down drivers the, from the origin of race, <laughs> racing. Uh, like racing is dramatic in any form, and it does not to be does not need to be dramatized anymore. Which is why I like the F1 show. I don't know. Like, I I do get the the figurehead thing, and like, I guess really, I've imagined being an F1 driver. And I've talked, not talked. I've heard people talk about it who have driven for F1 and then driven for the series, and it's just like F1 just seems like the worst series. Um, the worst context for a professional racing driver to, to do the craft and, and, and 
any and basically every other one's better, but I get that it's like Super Bowl and I'm glad that at least Whew. Um I'm glad they haven't gone all electric yet because uh I don't know if you've heard I don't know if, if you've ever heard an all electric race car go around a circuit. I'm sure that that's I'm sure you have. Um the most offensive racket <laughs> just and I know that like uh you know on racing cars yada yada they, they can sound pretty bad um but particularly the just the all electric ones just sound it just sounds intentionally abrasive I mean you know what I guess there must be people that like it just the want the sound of whirling turbines kind of like deafening whining sounds spooling up and down and harmonizing with each other i guess there are people who like that sound um you know what since i was i need to calm down and, get, and focus on the positive so i'm gonna go back and <laughs> into uh rc plan three. Oh yeah got that soundtrack going i don't think i've ever tried big oh it can't try big canyon I love that notice. I would kill to know how they made this because it's a, an inc incredible flight sim, sim um, that doesn't remember my settings, but that's okay. You know what, actually, we'll just do the controller. Like, physically manipulating the iPad. This huge... Wait. No, that's not right. That's right. What's fun oh, about no. Mech Arena is that there's a mech for everything. I would pay for this straight up, ground? except it's th like $30. And I, I uh, spent a significant amount of time today trying to find the, the developer and like see if they've done anything. And they completely went radio silent like three years ago. In the sort of way that's... I probably don't want to know. Not that, you know... Okay. That's the view on a certain. I can't actually. I, I can't think of the maneuver right now that I've, that I've been trying to do somewhat elegantly, which is, I think it's a hammerhead. All, uh, nope. Where, add full throttle, you pull all the way up until you're straight and then Lower the throttle and then kick right or one of the rudder, <laughs> the rudder in one direction and come over perfectly. Woo! I don't know, just, it's like literally one person or one or two people who made this application and like the soundtrack, which I was talking about, which is absolutely incredible and delightful, was composed by a separate person, but like, I'm sure they built atop the something, but there's so much stuff like the these, the graphics of these up and down drafts. I just the fact that this sh that this stuff gets made and then 
the people who make it kind of disappear. <laughs> and it obviously re represents, you know, a whole lot of effort and genuine ingenuity. And it's just kind of, I'm sure somebody else will come along and be like, oh my God, RC Plane 2 is actually the most. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, nope, nope. Now I'm making the bouncing worse. Yep. I am I might as well just <laughs> scratch that one. Uh, I actually found success earlier by doing real plane pattern I forget what okay so to turn perpendicular and turn parallel downwind except that, uh, that's I didn't do a circle so all right This one doesn't have flaps. Stall. And by the time. Yeah. Oh! Excellently done. Oh, I saw the world's largest uh, remote control aircraft fly. Hand built. One fifth scale model of a B-17. God, this sounds like I'm bullshitting, but it's true. In Mexico, Missouri, I got to see the largest remote control aircraft, like using regular R RC stuff, engines and stuff, hand built. It took them like half an hour to get it full of fuel, but it can only fly for five minutes. Uh, it's four engines, takes two people, and I got to see that they, okay, when I say buzzed an Amish, oh, well, a group of Amish people that, that it stopped out of the side of the road to watch what in the fuck the English, which is what they call um, us, if you didn't know, uh, like what in the goddamn fuck are those, are those English doing in that middle school uh, playground? with those tiny airplanes <laughs> flying around. And uh, anyway, they flew that B-17 very, very low. Uh, and you know what, I was, I was young and maybe I'm just remembering it, but I swear they had, like ducked and everything. In a, in a, not in a way of like, oh, let's bully those Amish people because look at our amazing remote control technology. It was like, they're gonna find this, the, like, uh, <laughs> they're gonna find this like the best part of the story. I don't know why I can't communicate anymore, but that was an incredible thing, the experience that I had. That uh, well, um, and I was a member of the club. Uh. Ooh. Just the reason I would never actually invest in it, largely because I'm, you know, uh, it's very easy, of course. The, the other thing, with the B-17, the thing is like, dude, I, they're like $100,000 into that. Just go fly an airplane. <laughs> Please, just go get your private pilot's license. Yes. If RC planes erupted in flames like that, upon, I'm sure that B-17 would, but uh, upon crashing, I would have absolutely stayed in the hobby. By the way, it is a r normal thing at RC plane meets for, crashes are normal. It's like going to an air show, except everybody, everybody's standing around uh, and, um, Basically, <laughs> well, I guess there are no human life consequences, but like everybody's nervous because I don't know, there's something inherently nervous in my opinion about the activity of flying a remote control air 
airplane around. It's like it's the it's getting disoriented. I don't know. Just RC played it. Two, three is great though. <laughs> this is my ferocious dog. Oh, this is another application that that same person made. Um, which honestly, this is probably what I was looking for my own. While I was a kid trying to find driving games. Um, except I just wish, you know, there was some. a little bit more variety in the. My vehicle was heavily damaged, but that's okay. Oh, I forgot that we're steering, when we're steering with the iPad now. Hell yeah. Well, I'm assuming that's gonna be it. I'm not gonna be able to explain that to myself later. Ooh. Oh yeah. Notably, this is for I, if you're still there notice this is forza horizon and like it's it is it is because of the radio thing which is like you re realize is uh absolutely a core part of that game for some reason all right are there any free cars that aren't this once again an amazing soundtrack Creative. Oh dear. Pisa Airlines. Oh wow. That see that was counter zero there. Wow. I don't know how you would stimulate that without an act like an established simulation engine. Okay, maybe I should actually turn around. Oh, that's, I'm having to, oh God. I don't, this application, uh, game is like six years old. Ha hasn't been updated since then, but this is, I would rather do this than play the asphalt games. <laughs> At least the ones on iOS. Okay. I'm on my My steering is too sensitive, if you hadn't noticed. Oh! Uh, thank God for- Oh, wow! Alright, maybe we should do something about this. Oh, that's what I need right there. Oh, I should have added a dead zone. Whoops! That's what I need. But I'm gonna drift. No, I'm gonna hold it. Alright. What? Do I need to shift? Is that part of the deal? I wanted to simulate commuting. I love that thing that the speed, speed 
something, just, uh, speed limit sign came up. You know, um, oh, yeah, dead zone. Okay, dead zone. If I can hit the pause button. There we go. Okay, now that's just gonna make it worse. I just hit the cruise control with my nose. <laughs> I actually use my nose far too often, in my opinion, when using touch devices because, uh, well, I only have two hands. Why am I spending my time doing this? I think it's because I clearly I needed to fuck around. So thanks for indulging me. Is Twitch is tr still going, which is nuts. Oh yeah, I, for I forgot that that uh, a gigabyte is a laughable amount of data now for a. Oh my god, I haven't played the game that I'm I should at least play for two seconds. Tricky Machines. Which I discovered to my just I can't express to you how loud I screamed when I discovered that the person who made Tricky Truck not only was continuing to develop applications, but that they had made one for iPhone and that it's actively like, um, develops, and that it's like even social. Oh no. I thought the Tricky Truck was like a college project or something. Because, <clears throat> I mean, it looks so unfinished, but... Um, and assumed that I would, you know... But the, then I discovered that it's like a whole genre of... Very challenging. Alright, this is a good decision on what I want to do right here. Just all the nightmares you've ever had about uh, what can happen to you, like, in a competitive context. Or, yeah, all the nightmares you've had about bizarre, impossible things that could happen while driving. And someone made a whole hobby out of that. I 
love the backfiring. I'm assuming that's what that's supposed to be. Oh my god. I need one of these. Nope. Oh my god, I'm just gonna buy it. <laughs> uh, who am I to deny money? From the tr Tricky Truck, which has brought me so much, the creator of Tricky Truck, which has brought me so much joy. Hell yeah. All right. Wait. Yes. I don't know why I acted like that was gonna go to go differently. This is like a social thing too. More maps by this person. Unsafe roller coaster. Sounds good to me. Oh. Oh dear. What? Is this dangerous contraption? Puppy, I'm doing something very important right now, but I'll get to you in a second. Who? What troubled mind envisioned this? <laughs> Oops. F1 test. If this was Formula One? Oh, shucks. Is this a slalom test? I'm not torturing my dog. Yeah, that's right. playground I'll just do the carboys show except it's Because this, uh, just unreasonably powerful thing can handle it, I guess. All right, one more. Th Garbage truck version one. Likes 53. Funny enough, uh, <laughs> my dad had on the farm, you have to have what he called two ton trucks. They're basically like, well, this, but with a bed. Uh, he used it specifically for gravel, hauling gravel. But, um, 
And uh, I don't remember why, but he decided that he needed an, another one. An old Dodge, Dodge 1969 Dodge with a 460 cubic inch V8. And uh, the accelerator pedal had come off. How deep can I go? And um, I don't know, I never got an answer whether it, was, it came off in his tenure or what. And no one would bother to replace it, so the accelerator pedal was just pe a really gr almost gross looking peg on the floor. Um, and, uh, you know, it's the sort of uh, asset that you, that you only start up maybe a few times a year. Um, anyway, he was convinced that we needed to get a really long, like a longer bed version of that. Uh, and first, that led him to buy a 1972, I think, Chevrolet two-ton truck that was so, so much longer, so much longer, and it didn't have a bed on it. So it looks like that truck that I was just driving. Um, and, um... It, like, it was, like, freakishly long. Uh, it ha also had a... I forget what they're called, but basically another set, another axle that was not driven in the back. So it had... First, it was a driven axle, and then a long-ass drive shaft. Uh, anyway. Like, I don't know. I don't know how many feet long the thing was. It was, like, 30 feet long. And not articulated. This is a single frame. It's not a trailer. Uh, and anyway, I remember... Well, you can... It doesn't take too much to imagine uh, how how easy it would be to get that sideways, right? Or how... And I remember that when my dad uh, wasn't really all that much of a playful person discovered, incidentally, um, just how easy it was. And for like one... I don't know, maybe half an hour. I got to see like a 30 foot long agricultural uh, hauler truck with no load drifting. Um, I, I mean, it's, you know, one of those absurd things that absurd images. I can't communicate with no, they're not. Nobody's dying. All right, I'm going to try to actually run up that hill like Kate Bush or Amanda Gorman. How did they do that? This is a polished one. Break? Yep. No, we're going to lose it. We're going to lose it. Yeah, we're going to lose it. Was that a whoop? Oh, I just switched cars. I guess that's... Oh, that's cool. This really is like Tricky Truck if it were finished. Wait. Oh, no, no, don't. Oh, that's the view I needed to see. Oh my god. To hell with um anything else. This is what I needed all along. All right. Uh, puppy, I know, but I'm doing something so important right now. She just wants to be playing. Puppy, I this is dire. You don't understand. Nope. I'm not going to lose it in the same guy. I'm going to lose it in the same spot. Okay. <laughs> Go get it. I would kill to, like, see Jensen Button play one of these games. I'm sure he has. Be like, and you, you have no option but to succeed. 
at least oh. once or something. Tricky truck challenge, oh. truck challenge. All right. That's not my replay, is it? I want to see sloppy birds replay. How do I do that? That was in 19th May, so. Oh, I can just fast forward. Look at that line. Look at that line. That sounds very much like a revolutionary. Alright, I'm gonna feed them and stop this, but thank you for indulging me. Um, you don't get to see this, you're gonna have to buy the full game. I'll probably be doing this later, but hopefully actually doing productive and interesting things on iPad.